Welcome to another great episode of Mr. Anime Reviews, and joining me is a special guest, and if you somehow live in Houston and you've been to Onicon, or if you live in Austin or Dallas and you've been to Akon, you might have seen this man, he is Ethan Carter, and he does write short or article anime reviews for certain sectors of magazines that are handed out in flyers and pamphlets, and I am very glad to have you on the show today. How you doing? Pretty good. Welcome to my office. I like it. You got Fooly Cooly, Gunsmith Cats Manga, it's all here. Well, anyway, we can't take this on without a review, so we're going to be reviewing one of my personal favorites, Outlaw Star. And at first, I'd like to say about Outlaw Star, the animation... It's pretty freaking beautiful. It's what, a 1998-1999 anime? Uh, I think so. Came around the same time like Bebop came around. I love the animation here. Mm -hmm. It's just so f creative and funky. And fluid. It's not choppy at all. Like, most things will jump around and show you one tiny tiny shot of a fist hitting a face and then another tiny shot of him falling when this just shows the entire thing in solid motion like cowboy bebop does it doesn't it doesn't mm, it doesn't sugarcoat things for you cowboy bebop i think the cowboy bebop animation is actually a little cleaner than this that is true this does jump around a little less but but it's still going in the same as far as direction. The, but as far as the story driven goes, this steals Cowboy Bebop. It, it, it does. Steals like... It's, it's better, it's more fluid, it, it's more perceptive to the audience. It's a better story. It's, it's easier to follow, that's for sure. Well, don't, don't, don't take it as a simple-minded... <laughs> oh, it's, it's not. It's just that it's, it's definitely a very elaborate, very good story. But... You don't have to work as hard to get into it. Like it's it's a real easy to get into anime. That's why a lot of people like it. Well, whereas Cowboy Bebop's like it kind of confuses you. It jumps around a lot. Yeah, you have, to, you have to piece it together. On the story, we follow Gene Starwin and his little buddy Jim have their little uh, shop set up, and they uh, encounter their own ship. Eventually, uh, what is the code name? The XGSO one or something? Ah, uh, and they name it the Outlaw Star. And uh, they go on a very large adventure, meet some very interesting characters. Like Aisha. Yeah. Oh, Aisha. No. Oh. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. I'm done. All right, no, what did you like no, best? Let's continue. What did you like best about Outlaw Star? Uh, the, the third or fourth episode from the end of the series. The hot tub episode. Yeah, pretty much. The, uh, the, the hot springs play. What did you really like? What, what, what did you really like about Outlaw Star? As far as story goes, because I think the ending was a little weird, but I think the ending satisfied me more than Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop was, well, personally I cried like a bitch. At the end of Cowboy Bebop, I wept like a girl. I mean, I like Cowboy Bebop. I like, I'm, the I'm tearing up thinking about it. Ah, uh, but I think Outlaw Star is... But Outlaw Star had, it had a great ending. It was, you're right, it was kind of weird. It was a happy ending. But it was. It was a happy ending. I like happy It's ending. a satisfying ending. It's and I ending. think that overall, Outlaw Star is a better anime than Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. That is an extremely tough choice for me well, to make. What, which one do you side with? Outlaw Star or Cowboy Bebop? I would side with Cowboy Bebop just because that's more what I... I guess I'm more acquainted well, that's, with it. That's respectable. Most people would side with Cowboy Bebop, but why? The, the, in Cowboy Bebop, the stories are not consistent from shot. It's a new thing every day. It's like a soap opera. With this, <laughs> they are following one line, they're trying to get to the galactic ley line, and they have this souped up ship, and each episode reflects on the last one. Cowboy Bebop's a completely new Robin Hood like adventure. Uh, I guess it's just. The, the, the thing where you're old and you're set in your ways and you're more familiar with it, you don't want to change. That's that's why I choose Cowboy Bebop. is because it's, it's more or less everyone recognizes it as the space action adventure. But why? Event. This is a perfectly legible space action adventure. It and I think the action is actually so more is. intense and more realistic and better than Cowboy Bebop. There are scenes where Spike is... In explosions, he's getting thrown against brick walls at high speeds, and he gets up and walks away. The ship damages and the injuries on here are real and authentic. 
I, I guess you're right. It is a little more realistic in some senses, but... Not to get me wrong, I love Cowboy Boop. I love to death, and it's probably on my top five, if not top three, best animes of all time. But I think Outlaw Star story flows, and overall, I think that it's very close around with Bebop, but I'll put it a notch above it. Uh, it's all about opinion, I guess. It is. But I still... <laughs> well, we, music score in Outlaw Star, you won't be disappointed. It has one of the most electrifying entrances... I believe I have oh. ever seen. Oh, it's yeah. in motion, it's moving, it's a wonderful entrance. Outlaw Star has been around a long time. If you haven't heard about it, it's about time to hop on Anime News Network and check it out. Outlaw Star, I give a 9.5 out of 10. What about you? I gotta be with you. I, I'll give it a 9 and some change. That's for sure.